So we're looking at a set of uh, Weber 40 IDTPs today that were just sent in to us. And I'm just doing a quick disassemble to get an idea on what we need. This one's got brass mixture screws. First thing we can see is that is bent. You know, this was a car that was not running for some time apparently. It was sitting in, uh, in the garage. And then this is what our main jet looks like. Pretty nasty. On top of that, if we look at the uh, holes, we can see how they're not round anymore. They're now kind of stretched out and oblonged. That is because this has been over tightened. Everything on this carburetor is really tight to the point where here there's a big old nerf. We're going to have to actually remachine these to be able to get a good seal and replace probably pretty much all of the brass. Yep, same on that one. It's growing stuff. Nice and black, disgusting chunks. Missing the O-ring, which is not a major deal, but you can see the idle jet is also plugged. These wouldn't really have run at all. Also been over-tightened on the seat. It's had a pretty hard life, this particular carburetor set. Old shrunken Weber gasket and see it went on, it was already shrunk. No tie wire on anything, although that's not the end of the world. Everything is really over tightened. Ooh, yeah, that one's done. And it's the old style float too. These can jam up when they don't have the top arm that comes out. That's one of the things they changed. And you can see here that the metal is starting to collapse in. That's also the sign that the floats are done. And then if we take a look down inside here, Ooh, yeah. you got some nice nasty evaporated fuel going on. What's the black stuff? That is just rust out of the gas tank, I would suspect. Has the wrong accelerator pump nozzles for the big ass chokes that it has in there. These are for a 27 millimeter choke. And we've got a 36 millimeter choke with a 140 main jet, which is way too small for that size choke. Wouldn't you have to pin the jets? To confirm. Who knows? I wouldn't even waste my time. Just with the condition that they're in, it's just going to be a replace. Same with all the floats. Take a look down in there. Same thing. That's all debris. That's rubber debris and rust all from the entire fuel system. See if an emulsion tube will come out. You can see that debris has gotten all the way up to the top of that emulsion tube. F26, which will work okay. Accelerator pump link is worn really badly. Basing from the drainage coming out of there, it's probably not in too good a shape inside of here as well. So the pin's done. Feels okay. Mm -hmm. 
So what happens here is this has been over tightened so much that this die cast pump cover has become one with the threads on the pump studs. This is what happens when people use a too heavy hand and really crank down on those small four M4 nuts. Yeah, we can see once we get it off how distorted that is. It, they've tightened it so much and most likely Yep, yeah, we can see daylight through there, so I think I would not even try and recover this, just replace it. Spring looks okay. Block, we'll have to make sure it's flat. Looks okay. Disc is okay. Yeah, so the stuff that we were draining out here was just rust contaminated fuel from the fuel system. A lot of movement on the throttle shafts. definitely done. Yeah, so you can see the wear right there where it's got the big old groove that's worn out. And if we look at the pump eyelet, also the hole is not round anymore the throttle shafts. I can already tell you they're probably trash. Based on everything else that we're seeing. Yep, throttle plates are done. See the wear and it's got the lip right there. Model board doesn't look too horrible. Okay, a lot of wear on the throttle shaft. Got a pretty decent line there. Not too horrible. Actually pretty good on this one. It's done. 795. 7946, so it's worn out. So it needs primary shafts. Tail shafts aren't too bad. Even though there's some significant scoring right there and a wear mark, I think I would replace it just for that reason alone. The other thing is, is the throttle ball's worn out. It's got a big flat spot on top and a big groove, so it needs a new throttle ball. So shafts are done. Most of the brass is done. Wrong accelerator pumps. Wrong size chokes, even for the application. Definitely been done before, it's definitely been bead blasted before. The original color is gone. They are a factory set of Porsche carburetors though. Still got the factory Porsche symbol on the uh, 
stamped into the front of the carburetor. Okay, time to quote them up, see what our customer wants to do.